Hey, this is Dr. Ed again. Welcome to the channel. We are retired Social Security Administration employees, and we help people throughout the country get everything they're entitled to for not only Social Security, but Medicare, including Medicare Part A, B, C, D, Medicare Advantage, Medigap plans, prescription drug plans, a whole nine yards and ball of wax. So give us a call and uh, let's see if we can uh, save you some money, and get you some more benefits. All right. Today, I want to see if I can save you some more money. Uh, and let you know about uh, a few programs out there that I uh, um, go through with all my clients every time I talk to them. But uh, figure I'll make a, uh, a video and get it out to the rest of the country. Okay. Um, internet. If you're paying for internet, then uh, um, there is an FCC program, a Federal Communications Commission. It's a federal program to help particularly seniors, low-income seniors, pay for internet. In order to do anything nowadays, you really need uh, internet access, uh, you know, to schedule uh, uh, doctor's appointments, uh, to, you know, to get email, um, you know, get in, in touch with people, um, get your medical reports, all this kind of stuff. Um, you really need the internet. So the government has, uh, uh, has noticed that and, uh, but also noticed that uh, some people just can't afford internet access. So the FCC uh, is administering a program to help with that. It used to be a lot more generous, but uh, because of budget cuts, it's uh, gone down. Last I've heard, it's, uh, I think they're $30. I'm not exactly sure how much they're paying once you're watching this video. But the most important thing on all of these benefits is give them a call, apply, and see what happens. All they can say is no, you know. Um, so, uh, go for it. All right. This is a touchy one. Um, some people hate this program. Some people love it. This is the government phone. The, some people call it the Obama phone. Um, it, it was actually started under Ronald Reagan in the 1980s. Uh, again, particularly seniors, low income people, um, they needed access to phone, a phone. Um, and at that time, it was a landline, obviously. There's no cell phones in the 1980s. Uh, those big old heavy block ones, I think. But anyway, um, so Ronald, it was started under the Reagan administration in the 1980s. And then the only thing uh, uh, President Obama did was um, just change it to cell phone. Obviously, everybody was using cell phone now. So, all right. So uh, what you do is you call the number I've got up on the screen and... Um, you see if you qualify, and if you qualify, then they essentially send you a phone and uh, um, low cost or no cost, depending on your particular situation, phone bill on a monthly basis. And I've, the jury's out to everybody I talk to is probably 50 50. Some people love it, some people hate it. Here's what I recommend if you currently have a cell phone, a, a phone or landline or whatever the case may be, and you're interested in this, you know, free, low cost cell phone, um, call, see if you're qualified, get it, but don't cancel your current phone service. Get your new phone, the new government phone, Obama phone, whatever, Reagan phone, whatever you want to call it. Get that new phone, try it for about a month or two, but keep your other one. Try the new one for about a month or two, see if you like it, the reception, the, the actual phone itself. And if you like it after a month or two, then you can cancel your other one. Um, if you don't like it, then, you know, you call them back and, you know, it's not interested. It's terrible. And, you know, give them some response. So hopefully uh, if, if it is that bad, they can improve uh, the, the quality of that particular assistance. Okay. So phone. Try it if you don't like it you know, send it back. Um, another place you can save some money is electricity. Most states throughout the country have electrical assistance. So that one's a pretty easy one. Um, you can actually call whoever your electrical company is and say, hey, I am uh, low income. I'm a low income senior. Um, and uh, is there any type of assistance you can give me to reduce my bill. If you're on SSI or Medicaid or something like that, um, that's usually enough to get uh, qualified for that type of assistance. So um, there we go. You get your, your phone, 
um, reduced price on uh, uh, internet, um, electrical assistance, um, what else? Uh, prescription drugs, obviously, make sure you have applied for the Social Security extra help with your prescription drugs. I've taken, again, retired Social Security district manager, uh, manage the a third business office in the country. We processed hundreds of thousands of extra help. It's called low income subsidy. It helps you pay for your prescription drugs. There are certain income thresholds and everything. Um, it's dependent on whether you're married or single. But again, what do I say? All I can do is say is no. So call 1-800-772-1213 and uh, um, tell them all your information and they will see if you're entitled to the extra help with prescription drugs. And important point on that is if you don't qualify this year, 2023, apply again next year, 2024, the income thresholds change next year. According to the recent uh, Inflation Reduction Act that was just passed a few months ago, in 2024, it's going to be a lot easier to get that extra help and millions of more people throughout the country are going to be eligible for those benefits. OK. All right. So those are three and, and, a, and a bonus. Well, let me throw in another bonus there. Check out my video to determine whether you're being underpaid by Social Security on your monthly benefits. It goes through 10 different points to go through it systematically on each one to confirm everything is correct with your particular Social Security check. And uh, I guess we'll see you there. But if not, have a beautiful day.